My name's Alan Woody, and ever since I was a little kid, I have been absolutely obsessed with fishing. I want to know who the best angler in America is, and I think I've figured out a way. Welcome to America's Ultimate Angler. Growing up, I bow fished a lot. Uh, I'm actually a world champion bow fisherman, um, and so that's what I've stuck to uh, on the waters. Uh, so I don't really have a specialty when it comes to catching bluegill or bass, uh, other than just getting the lure in the water and hoping that I catch the most and the biggest fish. Hey, my name's Tomas Morales. I'm a Pacific Northwesterner. I'm an Oregonian. That's why I'm better than everybody else. I fish to feed myself. Tacos, that's my specialty. Those fish, tacos, my belly, winner. Hey, my name is Justin Keene. I'm from Fayetteville, Arkansas. I teach fifth grade. Grew up fishing in Arkansas. I mostly fly fish these days and I'm looking forward to seeing if they want to cooperate today. Gentlemen, welcome to our Ultimate Angler Crucible this morning. We've got a beautiful one for you, and today we've got a classic fishing problem. All of us who have ever fished knows what happens when you get a fishing rod in a car door. And today, we're gonna to be using broken rods without fishing reels, and we're gonna be catching fish. Here's the challenge. You're gonna get four of my favorite baits night crawlers. You'll each be getting four night crawlers and one hour to fish with them. Most fish wins. Fewest fish goes home early or back to church as the case may be. Grab your rod. Your one hour starts now. Tommy on the board. Yeah, on the board, stay in here. All right, we're about halfway through challenge number one. And right now, Justin is piling it up. He's about three to one ahead of the other two. Special Look at the tail on that one. No. <laughs> So with challenge number one underway, this is what the majority of our competitors are catching. Little bluegill, sunfish, and they're catching quite a few of them. Here's the thing, the challenge was for the most fish and they were given night crawlers and these little beauties, they eat up the night crawlers and you can pile up a big number of them pretty quick. Tommy tied up. Loser goes home. Did he have it in his hand? That's where he got one. Ah. Don't lose him in the grass. Ah. Good thing size doesn't matter. He I caught got it. one. Now that one is going to put me in the finals. <laughs> size don't matter. Dude, he caught another one. He did. I actually saw it from here. Guys, great first round of competition. It was a lot of fun to watch. Justin, you laid the hammer down on some little blue gills. And Tommy and Casper all the way to the last second. And unfortunately, Tommy, Casper beat you. 
You did win strongest hat game. You won strongest beard game. Nice. But in the end, we're gonna have to let you go today. Please surrender your fishing rod. And have a great trip home. Thank you. Hey, didn't come out on top. Don't know what to say. No tacos for me. No prizes today. But that's all right. I'll see you on the next challenge. All right, guys, great first round. Now that we're down to the final two, we're gonna change things up just a hair. For the second challenge, I'm gonna give you two hours. I'm gonna give you two night crawlers. You can use the same pile of terminal tackle, hooks, sinkers, bobbers, and line. Plus, I'm gonna be a super nice guy and let you use your own rods and reels. How cool is that? Now the change is, I don't care how many fish you catch. The biggest fish by length after two hours wins. So with only night crawlers to use for bait, they're gonna look to trade up. They're gonna catch smaller fish, use them for bait for bigger fish. Hey, Justin, you can see the size of this fish right here that I just threw at. Dude, he looks like a needle nose gar. Jasper, I'm on two, bro. Big mouth. You forget how good cut bait works. <laughs> well, I, fish you. I forget about all this stuff. <laughs> I ain't throwing this back, man. Hell yeah. Justin came out into the lead with a 22 inch catfish. Casper is getting his chances, but he just keeps missing. Fish on! Oh, and he got off! Story of his life coming up just a little short. Three minutes! Guys, great. Two rounds of competition. It was really a great day overall, Casper. You pulled out round number one in the last second. And here in round number two, I think you got opportunities. You had chances. You had some good bites. Just couldn't connect. Justin's going to be able to take you by about 22 inches. And Casper, we're going to have to let you go. Had a couple of fish on right there at the beginning. Um, caught me a small, uh, small perch. Got it cut up and uh, had a, a. I felt like it was a, you know, bigger, bigger fish uh, than Justin's for sure. Just couldn't land it. And then I had another one on about 30 minutes into the competition, and then just from down there, just kind of slowed down. Fish stopped biting. Um, you know, maybe if it was bow fishing competition, I'd done a little better. Justin, you were completely dominant today. Really ran away with round number one. I mean, it was never close. You asserted your dominance early and kept the pressure up all the way through round two, winning with a 22 inch fish. Congratulations, you are moving on and may just be America's ultimate angler. All right, so the second round, I was able to come out on top, feeling good about that. We both made the switch to cut bait, and I think that was definitely the way to go. Um, I got a, the 22-inch catfish and a bass to follow it um, pretty quick, and the whole time I was stressed about how Casper pulled the first round out in the last second, but fortunately he, he stayed slow, and those two, they, they got me through today, so I'm thankful for that and glad, glad to be here. You back there, so my dad will believe me. <laughs> <laughs>